So there's this new robot at Sharp Hospital. It makes surgery less invasive and easier to recover from. It's also a little faster. It's called the Da Vinci 5. I got an up-close look at it, and I spoke with a surgeon who says it makes robotic surgery feel more like a traditional operation, and it's unlike any tool he's ever used. How long have you been a surgeon? I've been a surgeon for 35 years. Long time. I've seen this whole you know, pathway yeah. from very large open procedures to now using a Da Vinci 5 robot. Could you even imagine, you know, young Dr. Hart 35 years ago that this would be what you would be doing at some point in your career? I would have never thought it could be. Dr. Marcus Hart is one of the leading abdominal surgeons at Sharp. So when he says this robot, the Da Vinci 5 is revolutionary, he knows what he's talking about. So this system really has has changed surgery dramatically for me. The robot has four arms, a camera, and a user console with 3D screens. And as surgeons use these hand grips to operate, it gives them real-time feedback to feel the patient from the other side of the room. These instruments, as I push on different parts of the tissue, they'll tell me how hard I'm pushing and pulling. I can feel the tissue, the tension in the tissue, and so it made the experience a lot more connected to the patient. That connection is what makes the Da Vinci 5 unique. It's the only surgical robot on the market that offers a tactile response. There are only 10 of them in use across the country, and I got to try it out. This looks 3D. Using the robot's mechanical arms to put small bands on targets and even thread a suture. Okay, Jared. <laughs> Very nice. My mom will be so proud. She always wanted me to be a doctor. <laughs> I want to be clear as we talk about this. Yes. This does not mean anybody can be a surgeon. No. But it no, you makes, still have to go to medical school. Right. <laughs> but it makes it easier for people who are surgeons to have more successful, easier surgeries. That's exactly right. Terrific. Yes. That was really cool. And that translates, translates to better outcomes. And that's the ultimate goal. That's the goal. All right. I think I'll stay on the broadcasting side and not, not go into surgery. I asked Shark how much <laughs> they paid for the robot. They said they couldn't tell me. A part of their agreement with Intuitive, which is the company that makes it. It's been in use for about a month now, and it can be used in any operation between the chest and the abdomen. Now, healthcare is one of the specific areas that I cover, so if you have any stories related to health or hospitals or biotech, let me know. Shoot me an email at jared.aarons at 10news.com, or you can just scan the QR code on your screen.